Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Happy Cinco de Mayo. You guys, you guys enjoy Cinco de Mayo? You know who does not celebrate Cinco de Mayo? Mexicans. You see, many Americans, including me, think Cinco de Mayo is like Mexico's 4th of July, but that's wrong. It's like their 5th of May. <laughs> Mexico's big national celebration is September 16th or November 9th if Donald Trump loses. <laughs> so, to my. The Cinco de Trumpo. So, <laughs> to my viewers watching down in Mexico right now, let me explain our American Mexican holiday, Cinco de Mayo. We celebrate the Mexican army's valiant stand against French forces at the Battle of Puebla by wearing fake mustaches and vomiting discount margaritas. <laughs> now, a lot, of, a lot of discount margarita fans here tonight. And I sincerely, I sincerely hope that's not offensive, Mexico. I just want you to know. That Americans, all of us, we will use any occasion to drink. <laughs> no matter whose culture, <laughs> no matter whose culture it is, we drink on St. Paddy's Day for the Irish, we drink on Oktoberfest for the Germans, and we drink on Thanksgiving to forget what we did to Native Americans. <laughs> Speaking of atrocities, Donald Trump. <laughs> is, is Donald Trump here tonight? Is Donald, is Donald here tonight? No? Good. That'll, that'll make this part easier. Trump, Trump gave his own nod to Cinco de Mayo today on Twitter, saying, Happy Cinco de Mayo. The best taco bowls are made in Trump Tower Grill. I love Hispanics. <laughs> okay, Hispanics. The outreach has begun. And he's reaching as far as the Tump Tower Grill. <laughs> of course, not all Hispanics love Donald Trump. Today, boxing legend Oscar De La Hoya claimed that Donald Trump is a cheater on the golf course. After nine holes, he leaves the golf course for a younger one. <laughs> I don't. It's true. It's true. What? Yeah, it's true. It's called making the turn. And now, I don't know if I could ever play golf with Donald Trump because I'd keep trying to put my ball into his mouth to get a free game. Of course. Well, <laughs> of course, no scandal can touch Trump now because he's already locked down the Republican nomination. His next job would be to choose a running mate. And he said he will choose someone with political experience who has held office and is definitely a Republican. So that rules him out. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Can you imagine Donald Trump just one heartbeat away from the presidency? Ah. Oh. <laughs> now, Trump has graciously said he's willing to consider some of his previous Republican rivals as long as they don't remember anything he said about them. <laughs> so, if that's true, we might be looking at a ticket of Trump liar 16, <laughs> Trump low energy 16, <laughs> Trump look at that face 16, <laughs> and of course, Trump little sweaty guy 16. <laughs> But and he, all winning tickets, all winning tickets. But at the end of the day, of course, there's only one person with whom Donald Trump already has a great rapport and a working relationship. Together, Grimace, we could own this town. That's right. Vice President Chris Christie. <laughs> yeah. 